everybody and welcome back to Project Storm. I'm Storm and today we have Kermit the Frog here helping me out with some testing on armor. And now all of this testing and all of these little gimmicks and armors, most of them, all of these from here to here have been perfectly tested by Kermit the Frog himself, a community name. And uh, he wanted to share his findings, so that's what we're doing today. We also got Yui in the background editing Hello. on his beautiful yeah, game. Yeah, don't chair. mind me. I'm just, just editing. Clickbait. Yep, clickbait. <laughs> you know, he's just going to be spectating. And here we go. So, Kermit, why don't you take it away? All right. Well, we just kind of swapped all the different presets of armor. And also, I literally only ran a few tests. He just kind of called me like I was halfway done. Well... There are several different kinds of armors. If you notice here, these all look the same, but this one is made out of 1x2s, this one by 2x4s, two by and this one by 4x8s. By so for those of you who do not know, big is not actually better. Oh, here we are. So we have Kermit's Abram here, and he's going to be firing on the 4x8 armor first. Alright, all right, 4x8s. Right, That's the damage we see. Yeah, now I'll take one more shot. Alright. I would take three shots on each. Okay. Alright, so those are four by eights. As you can three see, you're missing quite a lot. Alright, now okay. go. Two, two by fours. Three shots. And finally, one by twos. As you can see, a world of a difference between smaller blocks and well, bigger blocks, and that is actually due to a little thing called, well, health density. These yeah. little blocks have more of a health density than these big blocks. Why don't you explain that, Kermit? All right, so some Luna take on another video, which Storm should probably link his video in the description. He did a lot of leg work for this for things to make sense. These four by eights uh, have about eight health per, and the unit of measurement that he used for health, essentially one health is equal to one bullet. So each one of these four by eights can take eight bullets. The thing is, this 2x4 has an HP of 4. The thing is, this 1x2, a singular 1x2, also has a density HP total of 4. And so you do 1x4s, and 1x3s, and 2x2x2s, they all have 4 HP. Which the thing is, one 2x4 has an HP density of 1, while 4x8 has an HP density of 0.25. Yeah, making so it 4 times better. Yes, it's, it's pretty interesting on how this works. Now, we're gonna go over penetration with only the one by twos. And now, penetration has a weird interaction as well with big cannons. Now, as you heard, small cannons or bullets only do one health point of damage, but tank cannons work a little bit weirder. Fire it off. Okay, so as you can see on this one, it did four layers, four layers of damage here. Now, we're gonna respawn it, try that again. Okay, yeah, that's not normally what happens. But... Alright, now this one did six layers of damage. So Which it's seems to be constant. That's the constant. Try it again. No, it's like never done before before ever. Fire again. Five. Actually, yeah, it's no. Normally yeah. five to six. Yep, five to six. So the penetration will always be five to six blocks inward. And as I'm sure all of you know. That's not good because you usually have your armor as at most maybe three or four blocks thick. Then your innards are all in there. So your Stop engines pushing. and guns and all that. So the main thing that armor has to do is we have to figure out how to stop that penetration. Now, if we go over here to this crane looking thing, Kermit, would you help me demonstrate? This yeah. is actually going to be the, I guess, blast radius of this? Kermit, AOE. Why don't you... No matter what, except for those two little bits on the side, it will always stay within roughly a 12 by 12 area it, when hitting a flat surface, although it still seems to be a bit stranger when hitting an actual vehicle. I'm still trying to work that out. But no matter what, if I repair... It's very interesting. Now, could I don't you know go... why it's always those two on the edge. Could you go over the damage numbers of the tank the cannon? Damage? Yeah. Alright, so... The damage is also one other thing I'm figuring out, but it seems at the exact center of the block it hits, it does exactly 10 damage. Which is enough to one-shot almost any block. Which, Storm, you should probably pop up now. I just will pull editing. it up right now. The thing. Okay. Essentially giving the HP of the majority of the blocks in the game, meaning only a select few blocks in tank a direct tank shot. 
And then that AoE seems to slowly drift out the further away it is. Although, when hitting a big surface, as you can see here, some of these blocks that are near the center are undamaged, while these all the way out here have taken substantial damage. So it just seems to be semi-random. So right now I have this popped up. Don't mind the uwu violation. We don't talk about that. Anyways, uh, <laughs> for one health point, I'll just say health point, but it's UND. We have the Party Balloon Triple Trophy, and then 4 UND is the blocks that most everybody uses, and it has the most blocks in the game. So, stuff that you would use for aesthetic, and um, a few mechanical blocks like the servos, or the straight suspension, oars, paddles. And then you get to 5 UND, which is all of the actual like useful blocks, like helicopter blades, modular wings, and flat wings. And then you get to 6, which is stuff you no one really uses except for the long helicopter blade and the powered simple tail fin. And then I would say 8 and up is the actual armor block. Well, we just established that 4x8s are not really good for armor, but they are the most used by everyone for armor, and we're trying to figure that out. We're trying to fix that. Steering hinges, 9 health points. Now, steering hinges at the base, yes, it will take 9 shots to break a steering hinge, but steering hinges are a interesting thing due to the fact that the head is actually indestructible if you shoot the head with a bullet it will not take any damage for some reason quick notes his hearing hinges are actually the most hp dense block in the game if you recall from earlier a one by two has a density of one hp a steering hinge has a density of nine yeah it's pretty crazy <laughs> now um large hinges are literally steering hinges but just better and they cost the same amount of complexity so I would honestly use those the most. And then you have the bigger blocks, which not many people will use. Like the 12 hit points is large pontoons, whole blocks and all that. Uh, yes, although whole blocks do have a lot of HP, remember, same issue with four by eights. They may have a lot of HP, but they're really big. Meaning yeah, so... their density is extraordinarily low. Yeah, and if one of those gets broken off of your build, you have a giant hole ready to be taken advantage of. No, what's 12 divided by 64? Uh, calculator time. Come on. Uh, 0.1875. That's worse than 4 by 8s <laughs> Yeah, that is. Okay. Don't Wait, use whole blocks. Crap, four by eights were. Do not use whole blocks. The armor density is trash. And now 14 hit points. These are the things you really want to be looking at. The shield pieces, Kermit has something to say about that. But weight blocks yeah. and heavyweight blocks are the things that really make armor heavy. No, go ahead. Yeah, so these at the top of the barrel, you'll see the 2x1s, 2x2s, and 2x4s all have the same HP, which leads to the same uh, thing you can abuse, like the 1x2s, 2x4s, and 1x4s all having the same HP. Take the smallest one. A 2x4 has 14 HP, and a 2x1 also has 14 HP. You can fit four 2x1s in the same space as one 2x4. Congratulations, you just quadrupled your HP density. Same thing with weight blocks. Weight blocks are relatively small. As you can see here, we have them in game on this storm. Mm -hmm. of course. So as I mentioned before, the 1x2s have an HP density. Oh wait, they have an HP density of two. I lied to you, sorry. <laughs> no All problem, right. no problem. No, it's not one, it's two. Weight blocks have an HP density of 3.5, which also makes them incredibly good armor. The downside is they're heavy. The only so. problem, truly. But since uh, the heavyweight blocks and the regular weight blocks are the same HP density, exactly the that, same, then you can just substitute them. Yeah, so but the downside is regular weight blocks have less attachment points, which have come to be an issue with some of my builds. Of course, but as you know, if you're really trying to armor something up, it's either a tank or something like a ship or something like that. And what tank isn't extremely heavy? <laughs> yes. For so, example, this Abram right here weighs 2.3 tons yes it's, it's quite or a heavy 2300 kilograms all right so now we get over to the actual real armor pieces we're gonna do a mythbuster round first and go over spaced armor now a lot of people have been thinking spaced armor works and um tragically no it actually does nothing how about you demonstrate for us kermit yeah so if you recall correctly from earlier with our two by ones a singular tank shot does roughly six, five, six blocks worth of penetration. Storm, can you take a look at where the six layer is and keep an eye on that? Of course, it would be right in that little space right there, the last right. space. So we aim, wind up the shot, and it got penetration all the way in 
to the fifth layer. Now the only reason or the only way that this would be useful is if you place three spaced armor panels and you don't want it to hit the sixth layer. But sincerely, who has space to do that? Okay, fire again now. Yep, it actually got all the way over to the seventh layer. So yeah, not the best. Spaced armor is not it. Myth but but busted. then, yeah, myth busted. Now, we'll get over to, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll move over to hinge armor. Now, this is spaced hinge armor. It's pretty heavy, very complex. But, um, yeah, you would never really see this on a build at this scale. But go ahead and try it. Shoot. That already lowered our penetration one block. And also, if you'll notice, this is the real reason why you would use hinge armor over any other armor. The brunt of the force got absorbed by the first and second layers. Now, if you look over here, all of that force got absorbed into the third and fourth or the fifth and sixth and seventh. But when you're looking at hinge armor uh, under a layer of regular armor, it will absorb all that force into the first layer, and that's really what you want to do because you want to lower damage to the innards of your vehicle. Now, I'll respawn it. Fire again. Boom. See? No damage on... Wow! It didn't... Okay, it got to the third layer, and that's it. You know what? Give us a barrage. A barrage? Yep. All right. And that's good. Now, if we look at this... All of that damage is all in the first, second, third, and fourth layers. So yeah, that's yeah. great. Granted five shots relative to the three over by the one by twos if you look over there. And then if we remember the four by eights, three shots, they're all gone. All right, now let's move over to the heaviest form of hinge armor, which is this. Reality, you're probably never going to use this unless you have a lot of complexity to goof around with. But oh, oh, technical difficulties here. <laughs> Okay, there we go. And the only way to, the real way to do hinge armor, because I haven't done a video on it yet, my bad. Basically, put the hinges facing where you're gonna get shot from, and then lower the strength all the way down to 10 to 0. And then place armor panels on it to get that real heavy hinge armor. Now, go ahead, fire. Boom. Okay, so as I said, brunt of the force got absorbed by the front, and we did suffer one little block that's damaged all the way in the sixth layer but it's only one fire again Boom. okay so actually as you can see i'm even surprised by this this armor is doing worse than the like spaced hinge armor over there fire again Boom. so this armor actually does not stop damage going into the penetration fire again yeah wow okay well this is also myth busted yeah, this, hinge armor does, this hinge armor doesn't work as well as I thought it would. Storm, get on top of the tank. We're going on a little trip over to the, back to the start. Okay, I'm on. Alright, if you look over here, at the end we have sloped armor. Oh which yeah. Which I recently found out something a bit weird. If you recall from before, it's on regular armor. It's about six blocks worth of penetration. And I can actually line up my shot here to be just right. So this is some reason really the damage weird. is angled downward. Now, okay, so for all of those armor lovers and tank lovers and all that, you're actually gonna see that some of these armors work really well in trail makers. Well, way better than we thought they would. This actually works like it would in real life. Fire again. Yeah, so wow, this is this is actually crazy. This is great. Alright, so sloped armor works. Would you say it's decent? Oh, would you say it's good? It's in reality, I wouldn't say it has too much use, but it is slightly better than just a good old block. Alright. Well, now we get to an armor that I've been messing around with a little bit, and uh, I actually can't wait for you to test this. So, a little fun fact, the there are two blocks in the game that are truly indestructible, and they're both one by one by one. They are anchor pins and friction pads. I bet a lot of you didn't know this, but... Since the update, friction pads are indestructible. It makes sense, because when you put them on walkers, you don't want your feet exploding, huh? So, the devs thought it would be a great idea to make them indestructible. Now- uh, from kinetic damage or from bullets? From everything. Go wow. ahead, take- give a fire. Kaboom. Now they're actually- they're not- they're not, um... <laughs> they're not indestructible to explosive damage, but to kinetic 
and some bullet damage there, indestructible. Now, if we look at this... Okay, the cap. The cap. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Anyways, they're, ind wait, wait, wait. they're indestructible to kinetic damage. I stand corrected. Anyways, now, if we look at this, this is actually, well, it's exactly how I explained the other spaced armor with the hinges. It absorbs the brunt of the force in the front. Yeah, look at that. Okay, fire again. Okay, so none of the none of the damage even got to the fourth layer. This is great. Okay, I'll respawn and fire again. Alright, that one got all the way to the fifth, but as you'll see, not much damage to the fifth layer. Is there any other points that you want to go over, Kermit? Well, I still have a lot more goofing around to do, but what armor that I realized that we didn't put in here that I'm going to quickly make is heavy armor. One moment. So, in theory, the armor set that I'm about to pull is one of the best in the game, though wildly impractical unless you're making a bunker. <laughs> a bunker? A One bunker. moment, let me... So this uh, thing is only three blocks thick, four if you count the... Uh... All right, oh, I'm just going to place it over here so it doesn't tip <laughs> over. It's a little heavy. It's, it's, it's a free. bit heavy. All right, here we go. So if you all would please stand behind. Of course. It does not solve the penetration issue as for you will see even on the first shot damage can get through. But if it's bullets, well, I'll examine with bullets. First, we'll do tank shots. Oh my God. Whoa, this is strong. Yeah. <laughs> Notice it uses one by two shields for the reason I told you earlier. Mm -hmm. So what is that, the fifth shot? Yep. Six. Same spot, concentrated. And now we have Seven. a hole. Now we have a hole. We have, we have a window. Eight. We have a door now. <laughs> Eight shots on the same spot. Now, wow. notice, uh, can you pull out your tank with the miniguns real quick? Of course. All right, I have my tank ready to go. Why is everything in slow motion? Oh my god. All right, I'm ready. Light it up. All right, line it up. There you go, finally. Wow, nope. a full volley. Now, for a quick example, I'm gonna pull up 4x8 armor again. <laughs> yep, just for a little, you know, that little nail in the coffin. I am lighting it up now. Wow. Gone. That's crazy. And then a little tank shot from my, you know. And notice this is just a tiny hole. Now, my uh, gun is two tank cannon, so I'm actually gonna fire on this thing a little bit. You'll get there. I will. My lord. And there it is. Once, once again, in reality, unless you're making a bunker, it isn't that practical as for most builds cannot sustain this type of weight. So it's best to place weight blocks on strategic points on your tank, which I'm... Storm, do you have weight block armor on your tank? I do. It's all the way on the inside. I have four different types of armor. Well, if you go into build mode and display... Of course. I'll give you like a little cross section. So as I take off my fender, we see here that this is the weight block armor that I have, and it's right next to um, spaced friction pad armor. And then I have even more weight block armor right here. Oh, okay. So one other myth that we forgot to mention during the video is that piston. Okay, Alright, so shall we use one by twos for the demonstration? Or nah, four by eights? Four by eights. Okay, well, it's gonna get destroyed either way. Alright, fire So, away. one regular round, no piston glitch. Take a good look at that damage. Same penetration. Um, Same damage. Wow. Alright. That's terrible. Regular shot. <laughs> Alright, fire again. One. Two. Three. Same damage. So, roughly. piston propelled projectiles don't actually do extra damage. Just because nope, they're going they just at a go higher faster. velocity. I will say, this at one point wasn't a myth. Back in the old days when uh, magnets weren't called tractor beams, magnet rail guns could fire a projectile so fast that the projectile would merge and go inside of a creation, increasing that, well, damage due to the penetration of the round. Alright, Storm, the final boss round. This is the, the UZ armor, so this is the... What's it comprised of? Uh, you'll see. <laughs> Alright, one by twos, you will not be able to get rid of this. Oh no, I got this, I believe in myself. You'll get there. 
I will. You'll get there eventually, yep. maybe. Of course. No, yep. no damage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so armored seats, guys. The the best armor. <laughs> oh. <laughs> in the name. Well, the thank mute. you all so much for enjoying and watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, you want to see these guys back on the channel sometime? Oh my god, I got one shot. No way. That's actually crazy. Anyways, if you want to see these guys back on the channel, please comment. Tell me what you want to see next. And uh, yeah, remember, we're all trailmakers. Keep on creating. Peace.